Hi. I'm a stay or whatever, what have you, and all those good occult type things. So, so I just want to make a quick video about um my origami. You know, I've um well one there. It's not really as hard as you think. Like I tell a lot of people, like I do origami, and they go, "Oh, that's so hard," or "Can't do it," or "No." The thing is, there's there's a bunch of different origamis, like. There's beginner level, there's intermediate, and advanced, and, like, it used to be, I think, before, I guess, so much, um, cultural diffusion to the West, like, the, um, origami crane, uh, I'll show you again, like, Yeah, crane. So I, I made this white one, albino crane, just this morning, and you know I made a bunch. They're really easy. So, like people see them, me making them. And, I mean, they call them a swan, which, like, it wasn't white. It was I was making a pink one, and they call it a swan. I don't know why, because I mean it's a crane, but like are cranes and swans like I don't know. You guys tell me in the comments, does this look more like crane or swan? Like, it's supposed to be, traditionally supposed to be swan, but... So what I want to say is that it used to be the crane was supposed to be like the hardest or the most, I guess, special kind of origami. Like, a lot of people, um, they make a bunch of these and string them up for, uh, good luck on their ceiling. Or, um, there's, there's this, like, myth, this legend where, um, a person who makes when 1,000 organic cranes gets a, um, like, a wish. And uh, I don't know if that's true or not, so, I don't think I've done 1,000, uh, yeah, it used to be that was the hardest, but now there's... There's like Origami Millennium Falcon, Origami X-Wing, Origami Five Point Star, Origami Ninja Star, Origami Sh Shurikan, I think it is. Um, there's, I don't know, a bunch of different, or, like, like Origami Swallowtail Butterfly. Like, I can do a butterfly, just not Swallowtail Butterfly. But, yeah, there's so many, um, it's, like, there's... Japanese Bellflower Origami is like, those are the more advanced ones. That, the ones I, even though I can do the crane, uh, I, I can't do like the X-Wing or the, the Millennium Falcon or a star, or five point star. Like, I've tried, but you know, it's hard. Uh, but I mean, there are a lot more easier Origamis. Like there's Origami Dog, Origami Cat, Origami I think the regular butterfly is pretty easy. Um, origami piano, origami table, origami giraffe, origami elephant, origami fish, origami frog, origami turtle. I mean, those are the easier ones. But so I so I want to show you how um like traditionally this this is the kind of origami paper I use. This is real origami paper. I think it was made in China, not origami Japanese, but, um, so it's always square, it has to be square, and, you know, most of the paper that we have, like, they get in your binders or folders in the West, like printer paper, it's, it's rectangular, so, can't really do this, but, and I think over in, like Asia, they, they usually have color on both sides, but I guess in the West, like the United States were, were cheaper, so, you know, they only do color on one side to save on ink. So, I mean, a lot of tutorial videos, make sure, like, um, you're supposed to start on the non-color side, but, I mean, some people, you might think, oh, they're starting on the color side, but... No, they just have color on both sides because, I don't know, they live in a country that's not as cheap as us.
Big Russ. Um, so for you guys that don't that don't have this, I wanted to show you um an easy way to turn this um regular rectangular sheet of like printer paper, spiral notebook paper into origami paper. Okay. Since this is a rectangle, use like sacred geometry to turn it into a square. Um, this is a neat trick. Um, take one of the top corners, or I guess any corner, and you bend that over, take the top edge towards this other edge to make a triangle. So bring it over until the top touches the other edge. Then you can increase this. Um, then see there's a triangle top part. Then so you got two triangles. Hold over and but this bottom part this is excess. This is the, what makes the square or triangle. So when I fold this like. Fold it along the bottom of that triangle, so this remaining part you're um, you're, you're getting rid of, and you can just um, cut the excess off. Or tear it off, or, or if you don't have scissors, you just lick the paper with, and um, that makes it soft. And then you can just go along the like line, the lick to line, and you know, tear it, slowly tear it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but you see now you've got um, two triangles, and that makes a perfect square. And uh, Guess I'll show you one really easy origami right now since I have this. Okay, so first you have to make a diagonal. It doesn't matter which way. And I mean, a lot of origami start with um, you take both edges like these corners and fold it towards the middle, so they meet at the middle. And as you start to get into origami, a lot of a lot of the um, stuff will just say that meets at the center. Fold it so it meets at the center. And you do that on both both sides. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I guess it'd help if, um, they were even, so do them the same amount. Then this bottom, like, part that you don't want, or... Um, you still keep it on, you don't cut it off, but you... Just fold it upwards, and then, so it looks like this. Then the bottom part, you also, you fold that up again. So there is a little of the top triangle showing. And that is how you make an origami sailboat. See, so, um, these were the sails, the, and, um, there's the, oh, and, yeah, so, um, before I go, I, I wanted to ask you guys, um, Okay, you know how I wear this, uh, like, one, it's not satanic, like, Wicca is, a lot of people don't understand, it, it has nothing to do with Satan, or, um, like, doesn't even believe in a devil, like, I know there's a lot of imagery with, uh, 
the horns, God, you see these horns, but some symbols, like Wiccan symbols about their symbol for God has the horns. But no, that doesn't have to do with like any, I don't know, devil or whatever. That's, um, the horns are like signs of fertility or, you know, it, it takes on how they, um, like don't deer and reindeer and like moose. In mating season, they grow, they grow their horns or like, you know, the males when they're born, they don't have horns, but then they get horns, so. And, saying it's about horns, um, I don't know, they're just like, I don't know, decorative, like, like I like to wear a glove around and people ask me, why are you wearing gloves? Like white gloves and they shouldn't, because I like it, be enough of an answer. So, and I also want to tell you, thing about the colors is also kind of important. You can see the crystals on this, um, and the points connected, um, the, the green represents wood, or at least on this one, they kind of have the colors differently how it's supposed to be. But, um, so wood points to earth. I guess earth is purple in this one for whatever reason. So wood destroys earth because like, you know, a tree of the root systems can break through dirt and they break through rocks and yeah. And earth destroys um, fire because what just does, I guess, you know, fire becomes um, like ashes and uh, Fire um, destroys water because, you know, boiling it evaporates it. Water destroys the metal because um, water rusts metal. Like, if you leave a metal thing on the rain, it'll rust, most likely. And then metal, represented by the way, destroys um, wood because, you know, an axe, they chop it with the knacks and okay that's how that works and those also correspond to organs so I think white is lungs like metal your lungs are metal and um red heart fire so like heart fire your your heart is fire uh kidneys are blue that's water or actually it's um I think kidneys are way blue, yeah, water. Then liver is green, so that's wood. Your liver is wood, and um, well, the spleen is is earth, and normally that'd be the color gold, but they made it purple because I guess gold's more expensive or something. Um, so keep in mind the origami, and yeah, so. Hope you have a good day. Bye.